What's going on guys? You already know it's your boy M to the A to the C to the to the to the K A Y vibes. I'm back again with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the road to the Afcon 2021 final. We already know Senegal are through to the final already. The beat. Guess who the beat? The beat Burkina Faso three goals to one and money of course scored to get to the final so basically right we'll be talking about a couple of things right but before we go any further please if you haven't subscribed to this channel at your you double me please subscribe to this channel right now so you can enjoy the vibes you know my kid vibes the vibe you, you get the point right and also click that notification bell beside it so you can get notified whenever i post videos Give this video a big thumbs up so it can go viral and other people can enjoy it. Thank you for that. Now, back to the video. So, like I was saying, right? So, we're going to be talking about a couple of things, right? We're going to be talking about the teams that we didn't expect to get to a certain level or to a certain stage in this AFCON 2021 stroke 2022 tournament. And we'll talk about some teams, right, that we felt like would we expected to get to a certain level or certain levels but they disappointed us we football soccer fans right yeah we'll also talk about the team that we feel like will play against senegal in the final between egypt between egypt and cameroon so first of all let's talk about um let's talk about ghana right and there's a reason why i'm starting with ghana so ghana got just one point i'm talking about just one point from a group with comoros in it gabon in it and morocco in it right so when i first saw that group right with comoros and gabon to be honest with you i was actually thinking okay i feel like the two countries that will make it out of this group and will go to the next stage round of 16 will be ghana and morocco but guess what guess what it didn't happen that way you know it was it was the other way around morocco made it out and comoros made it to the round of 16 where they were defeated by cameroon right and cameroon beat them by two goals to one right but let's talk about that ghana game like i said back to the ghana game how will ghana a old black stars i'm talking about the black stars of ghana you know just get one point out of the group stage how they didn't even make it out of the group stage one point how is that even possible charlie explain to me now wait till they stop that was really shocking i'm not gonna lie that's one of the that's one of the like the most shocking results in this tournament because i'm sure most people if not most countries were thinking that at least ghana will at least make it out of the group stage Charlie, that thing, that thing, that thing, he shock, he shock us, he shock us. But I just wish them all the best in the future. I hope they, you know, they get it right, they get it together and do well, you know. Because, like I said, you know, I'm Nigerian, right? And hmm, we're going to be having a game against Ghana very soon. I'm talking about World Cup. Is it World Cup qualifier or something like that? And uh, yeah, we'll see who's going <laughs> to. We'll see who's gonna win that game. Of course, I'm gonna go with my with Ninja, you understand? Know Nigeria. But we'll see how that goes. Anyways, Ghana, I wish you all the best. That's one of the the major upsets in this Afcon 2021 stroke 2022 tournament, right? Now let's talk about another upset. Um, let's talk about the Nigeria Tunisia game. So we all know that Nigeria was the only country that won all their games in the group stage they came out of the group with nine points right so people were i'm i'm pretty sure or let me just let me just you know speak for myself because i was thinking that nigeria will at least even not make it to the semi-final or the final they will make it to the quarterfinal because of the way they were playing they were playing so well beautiful football right from the beginning of the tournament till their third game you know what i'm saying and the night to be honest the tunisia game i'm talking about the nigeria tunisia game we played well like i said in that you know in one of my previous videos we played well but it just wasn't enough to take us to the next stage to the quarterfinal and it was really painful that's also another major upset in the in the um competition the tournament because tunisia they they had the, they had the chance and they took it but now they're also out 
So um yeah, that's another major upset. So Comoros, we didn't actually expect Comoros to go as far as they did. Congratulations to Comoros, like they really played well, like big ups to them, right? And um of course they ended up they, they got kicked out already. Aha! I was gonna talk about Algeria. Algeria, we all know they are the reigning champions. But how come? How did wait wait? Let me let me let me um wait wait let me um how did Algeria not make it out of the group stage? How did they not get out of the group stage? Do you know that they just had one point? Just one point in the group stage. How is that possible? How is that possible? Algeria? That was also an upset. Ghana, Algeria. Eh, Charlie. Hey, Algeria. Algeria, that team will go at least. They will get out of the group stage. They did not get out of VTO. Or more. But, anyways, that just shows that you, you shouldn't underestimate any team. You know, don't see any team as, oh, okay, this team is small or this one is. No, they came to play. So you have to take every team that you're playing with seriously. It doesn't really matter. You know, and I felt like a couple of big teams in this tournament that, of course, everyone expected to get to, you know, the quarterfinal, semifinal, final level. You know, I'm sure some of these teams underrated um, some of the small teams. And that is how they got kicked out of the competition so basically um yeah so this i want to i just want to talk about algeria that was a big shock um ghana to you know also major major upset nigeria uh we played well but we didn't make it out that was also a major upset and you know comoros shout out to them um comoros they only have a, a population of about eight hundred thousand people hey they 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 played well and Equatorial Guinea also, they also played well. That was also um kind of like surprising for them to actually get to the state they got to. So kind of surprising. Big ups to Equatorial Guinea to um to the country. Uh, of course, we expected Cameroon to do well, and they 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 doing well. They have a game against Egypt, and then we'll see what's going to. We already predicted in my last video that Cameroon would um would win this this um year's competition so they have to actually beat egypt for them to get to the final and then we'll see what happens in the final against senegal so guys these are all the teams that are qualified to play in the afcon 2021 stroke 2022 tournament right so we have cameroon senegal of course cameroon is the host algeria mali tunisia burkina faso guinea comoros gabon gambia egypt ghana Equatorial Guinea, Zimbabwe, Ivory Coast, Morocco, Nigeria, Sudan, Malawi, Mor uh, Ethiopia, Mauritania, Guinea-Bissau, Cape Verde, and Syria alone, right? And like I was saying, let me let me uh, talk about some of the teams that I felt like, you know, or most people felt like won't even get out of the group stage, and they did. For one, number one, Comoros, we already spoke about that and let's see which other team was there gambia ah gambia is like for the gambian team it was like okay will they make it out or not because gambia i won't say they have the most impressive team but they were lucky enough to make it out they actually did well up until the the quarterfinal where um of course cameroon the host that has been impressive so far they they kicked them out of the competition but big ups to gambia too man they played well so that's also a team that we didn't really expect for them to get to that stage but they did you know they proved us wrong so senegal right they didn't really they weren't really as impressive as we would have thought i'm talking about in the group stage but when they got to the quarterfinal you know they actually played well with the amount of goals they scored they played in semi-final they played really really well sadio mani Big ups to you, you know, star of the match, man of the match, and now they're in the final. So, do you think I should actually change my prediction on who is going to be this year's winner from 2021? Uh, no, I still go with Cameron. <laughs> I still go with Cameron. So, Cameron has to get to the final. They have to be Egypt to 
be able to play against Senegal and win. But we're going to find out, man. Egypt has Moussala, Senegal has Sadio Mane, uh, Cameroon also. They have Ikambi, they have Abubakar. And we'll see how it goes. I just wanted to congratulate all the teams that qualify for AFCON 2021 tournament. And all the teams that qualified actually tried their possible best, right? But only one team can win. You know what I'm saying? Not the, every team cannot make it to the quarterfinal. Every team cannot make it to the semifinal or the final. Only two teams can make it to the final. Yeah, that's that about that. And then I wish Cameroon all the best. And I also wish Egypt all the best in their semifinal game tomorrow. I mean, today, actually. Who's going to play against Senegal? We'll find out. Thank you guys for rocking with me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that right now. Click on the notification bell beside it so you can get notified when I post videos. And give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you for rocking with me. And I'll see you guys on the next one.